Today we're in the book of Amos, chapter 1. And Amos is a prophet, but at the same time he was a, a shepherd. So listen to what it says in verse 1 of the book of Amos. The words of Amos, who was among the sheep breeders of Tekoa. And he says this, The Lord roars from Zion, and utters his voice from Jerusalem. The pastures of the shepherds mourn, and the top of Carmel withers. It's a profitable time for the people of Israel. They're enjoying uh, blessings and rewards and everything's going good. But, but under the surface, there's a lot of hypocrisy, there's a lot of idol worship, and God is going to deal with not only Israel, but also the Gentile nations that surround Israel. So it says, the Lord roars from Zion, utters his voice from Jerusalem, because what's happening is they're going to all these different nations and they're borrowing worship practices. And so Amos is bringing them back to the center of the worship of God. He speaks of Zion and he speaks of Jerusalem. All through this chapter, there's all kinds of judgments on these Gentile nations. Each time it says something like this, for three transgressions of Damascus, from three transgressions, and he mentions another city. It's not that there's just three, but it's line upon line upon line. It's sort of a poetic way of saying there's a lot of sin going on. So what do we draw from this? What do we apply to our own lives? That God wants to bring us back to the central reason of our faith, back to Jerusalem, so to speak, back to Him, back to His love, back to His presence, back to His glory. And He's using a simple shepherd. He didn't have a whole lot of theological training. In fact, the word Amos means burden or burden bearer. So he's bearing the burdens of the people and sharing God's heart with them. That's what a shepherd named Amos is doing. Amos, burden or burden bearer? I found out what this name meant a long time ago and my wife and I had a cat <laughs> named Amos. And we found out very soon that it meant burden, not burden bearer. Amos was a nightmare. This Amos, however, is not. He is bringing God's word to the people in a clear and direct and loving way as a shepherd. And he says, hey, listen, come back to the center of our faith. Come back to Jerusalem, back to the Lord. And I would add one final thing, that true worship to the Lord in the book of Amos leads to justice, to righteousness, and loving our neighbor. And I think we could apply that to all of our lives. So the book of Amos, a very amazing shepherd-led prophecy to you, to me, and the people of Israel.